Good morning, Sean Larkin here. Thanks for checking out the video. Please take a moment to subscribe and uh, like the video, comment on what you got from it. Uh, topic this morning is uh, one that I talk about probably every day with uh, small business owners and just associates uh, that I network with and it's uh, reviews, online reviews particularly, and why they're important. And I wanna talk a little bit about that today and just have some key points I want to hit on with that. But um, reviews, particularly Google reviews, are the big one, uh, you know, if you're trying to be found online. Uh, but I want to go over a few things that I think why they're important. And I get, you know, some pushback from business owners like, well, I don't want to bother, don't want to bother my customers. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ask them. I don't want them, you know, to feel, you know, obligated or what have you. There's lots of weird reasons I get from people about why they don't want to ask for reviews. Bottom line is they're, they're leaving reviews for other businesses, your customers are. They're getting asked, uh, whether it's via a text message or an email. I use this example a lot. I flew into down to Houston, Texas. Uh, it's been a couple years ago for uh, an event my wife was at. And, and uh, when we were on our way back to the airport, from the hotel that we stayed in. We literally got a review request in email as we were going back to the airport from the hotel. And I left a review. I liked the place and uh, they, they were nice and everything was really good. So I left a review, didn't take long, uh, but it's people are used to it is my point. So just a few quick points about reviews. Uh, my videos are typically around three minutes, so I wanna keep it around that. But uh, this is a really important, um, really important topic. And if you don't have a strategy in place for getting reviews, talk to me, reach out to me, text me, whatever uh, on that. And we'll talk more about how to put something in place. We even have some tools available through Creekmore Marketing that can help with that uh, to make that easier on you and to put a system in place for you and your staff. But really just real, I think I've got seven real quick points. One, uh, the reviews help you get found online people are looking when they're doing searches the reviews are going to help impact your local results um, and then the second thing is it builds credibility i mean let's be honest if you've got you find searches you know and you've, you there's the top three in the map results and you're there and there's a couple other companies there and uh, they've just got way more reviews than you you probably are not even going to get looked at so you need it for credibility uh, it impacts business buying decisions. I mean, people, when they look at these reviews, I think statistically, I think Moz, it's an online, uh, it's really a reputable source online. I believe they said 67% uh, of buying decisions are influenced by reviews. Uh, beyond reviews, your response is critical, okay? When somebody leaves you a review, don't just ignore it, good or bad. Uh, say thank you for the leaving us a review. It really helps our business. And if it's bad, you're like, wow, I don't know how to handle that. We've got some people on our staff that can kind of walk you through that and give you some tips on that. And I can help you with that as well. Uh, but it's really important to make, res make sure you respond to those reviews. Uh, you know, it really will give uh, important feedback to people looking to do business with you. You know, what are other people saying about your business? Uh, reviews are really great for that, and it's going to give people a great uh, bit of feedback about your business. It builds trust. Uh, and lastly, I hear this a lot. People are like, oh, yeah, my business is word, word of mouth and referral. And that's fine. But if I move to a new city and I don't know who you are, I'm not getting a word of mouth or somebody, my neighbor, you know, go check this guy out. Okay. I'm going to look online and I'm going to see what your reviews look like. And if you don't have any, my neighbor's opinion is probably going to, of what he told me is probably not going to be as valuable as if I go on there and see that you've got 50 reviews and they're all, you know, 4.8 or higher. You know, you're, everybody's going to have a knucklehead that leaves you a review that you probably have never met or they called and they called the wrong business and they left a review on the wrong company. It happens. But anyway, uh, Reviews are really important. If you don't know how to start, reach out to me. We'll help you. Uh, I'll help you. Uh, we'll put together a plan. This video is a little longer than normal. I could have talked for an hour about this, uh, but I won't. So anyway, thanks again, Sean Larkin here online and just uh, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.